Hello everyone, welcome to AI Anytime channel. In this video, we are going to explore EG Animate. It's an end-to-end -end solution for generating long videos. You would have seen revolutions in the space of generative AI. We started with text-to-text, text-to-image, text-to-audio, and text-to-video. So we started with text-to-text -text using chat GPT early, and you know we started early with chat GPT and a lot of other tools, Claude, Gemini, Bard at that time, you know, so on and so forth. Now, later we saw text-to-image using DALI, Stable Diffusion, an open source startup based out of London, and then we saw mid-journey and so on and so forth in the image generation space. And then we saw audio, Suno AI, you know, that will nice the audio space and then we saw Sora by OpenAI which was remarkable you know the I'm waiting for the launch by the way and how we can create text to GIF GIF videos you know creating two three seconds uh, GIF and the videos are uh, uh, you know that not that complex when you look at the uh, lengthy video like you want to generate two minutes videos for example like Sora uh, Sora did that OpenAI have shown the capabilities now we have demo v lab you know and uh, a lot of other uh, even stable diffusion have some text to video like creating a gif and stuff using control net and all of other things how we can use easy animate that helps you create a longer videos at high resolutions because it is trained on transformer based diffusion generator and it trains a vae for processing long videos it's an auto encoder you know for processing long videos and capable of uh, pre-processing metadata as well so we're gonna use eg animate on a a hundred notebook so i need a hundred powered notebook uh, i have tested this on a hundred gpu i haven't tested it on l4 i haven't tested it on v100 i haven't tested on rtx i have only tested on uh, a hundred i'm going to show you this on run pod so if you have run pod you can also use it google collab pro where they provide you uh, v100 uh, a hundred as well now EG Animate is based on Sora-like structure, not completely because we really don't know how OpenAI has trained Sora. Of course, technical reports and all are fine, but they never share the secret sauce, guys. Uh, based on Sora-like structure and DIT, and they have used a transformer as a you know diffuser for video generation, and uh, it has different modules, uh, UV, slice, VAE stuff, and everything that we're gonna look at this. Now, if you look at here on my screen, I am on their GitHub repository. That's what their GitHub repository is. Uh, EG animate and they say an end-to-end -end solution the same thing that I told you for resolutions and long video generations and the pipeline based on transformer architecture you can see it over here to generate AI photos and videos train baseline models and LoRa models for the diffusion transformer now let's scroll down this is how you can see it quality is good you know, um, of course not Sora and they have a gradual application I'm gonna run that and this is how you can use it this is on github now let's jump into our run pod here so what i have done i have i have my pods running you can see and of course i will delete the pod after the video i have my pod running i have one 800 pcie uh, you know of 117 gb ram 31 cpus and 80 gb of vram that's the main thing guys and here i am on uh, pipin uh, git clone easy animate so i have cloned the folder from github repository and then i have gone cd into it and then i have installed all the requirements and once you install all the requirements let's uh, scroll down below and then here i'm going to go on my gist so I'm, i have created some gist so i don't have to you know write the things the first thing that we're going to do is download the model so let's get the model from using wget we're going to fetch the model you can see what we are doing we are saying okay wget i'm passing the path and i'm saying here is the path go inside models diffusion transformer and look at this link and download me the file over here you can see i'm downloading a tar file for easy animate and then i'm also going to unzip that file so let me just run this now this process is going to take a bit of time guys because it has to connect with that you know you need a faster internet service to get these things done so what i'm going to do i'm going to pause this video and i'll come back once this is done all right guys you can see the model weights have been downloaded uh, everything is done now what we're going to do next is we're going to make some changes in this app.py file so we have to make a change uh, let me just scroll down a bit and you see this app launch gradio here you have to come and just say share equals true that's what we have to do here so i'm just going to do share equals true and then i'm just going to do control s so it automatically gets saved but you can just do that as well and i'm just going to uh, close this come here and then I'm just going to run python app.py
and you can see I have opened here uh, the gradual link that we have for easy animate and of course they also provide uh, you know a wave URL to play with so if you don't want to set this up and if you want to try it out in a free version you can also go to their github they have a web thing to try it out and do that now you know they have some uh, uh, I don't know what language is this a Japanese Chinese whatever okay so uh, and I just made it English and here you can see uh, it says an end-to-end -end solutions for high resolutions and long video generations and generate your videos easily and if you scroll down here you have to give the prompt I'll keep the same thing guys you know just for uh, just to show you you know it has a prompt it has positive prompt and negative prompt now positive prompt is something that you want to give it to system and generate uh, basically giving the instructions to the system so it can follow that and generate what you are asking and negative prompt is something that you don't want in that particular media that media can be image video or audio it can be anything now if you look at here in the negative prompt the say video is the, the video is not of a high quality it has low resolution so audio quality is not clear blah 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 for example if you don't want a blurry a blurry video if you don't want distortions you have to put everything in the negative prompt right you can see blurry ugly distortions blah 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 and in the positive prompt you put what you need there so if you come here you know scroll down let's just run this generate it says please select a pre-trained model path ah okay one sec okay so if you scroll down you know pre-trained model path you can see this it has to load the model it has to you know it, the model will take time because it's a huge file that that is there so you have to load that and then you need that particular vram you know when you load the model so uh, that's very crucial so make sure that you have enough compute to run these kind of you know, you know models in your system if it's locally if it's on cloud if it's on anywhere you know in any server that you are running this is how you guys can do it right so this is how you open the gradio you know load the model put the prompts and then you have some sampling methods that right? if you look at this sampling method here you have euler here you have your dpm if you have different other sampling methods. i have i have a video earlier where i created a few months back where i have discussed all of these things you have sampling steps how many steps you do, do you need for that the height of videos the resolution the height and the width of video resolutions that you have and they have generate image whether to generate an image or video you know you can also follow that and then you have some uh, cfg scale guidance coefficient which is like standard seed for reproducibility and so on and so forth so these are the ui and now once you click on uh once you load the model and click on download uh, generate it will generate the video for you that's how it works so let's let's wait for it and see what happens so i'll, I'll come back once this is done as you can see such a beautiful video that we have generated guys you know it has generated the video i loaded the model you can see here is the model that we loaded it's in our folder called models this is the model easy animate version 2 xl2 512 512 that's basically the uh, for the resolutions and you can you can look at here so let me just download this and if i play this you can see it's like six seconds video which is fantastic look at the quality of this video i love this video guys this is fantastic now let's try to of course i have less compute but i will try to generate other videos you know just to uh the video shows the the video shows the shows uh the video shows uh is spanish model walking on a a clean road uh, in a sunny weather sunny weather clear sky you know uh, model uh, clear sky great scenery something like that okay. something wrong with the scenery spelling here great scenery uh, people or oh, not people let's call car behind her can't be car behind the model and something like this and let's just click on generate and see if it's able to do that now it takes few minutes guys you know it all depends on what kind of compute you have if you have very good compute it will be faster if you have less compute if you have multiple gpus you can do this you know at a, of course at a faster rate but i'm very happy with the output that we got for the first one probably you need a better prompt engineer i'm not a i'm not a very good prompt engineer for media generation i do have skills on uh prompt 
techniques but not for this kind of you know media generation for images and videos you know i don't have that skills as of now but if you look at here what i'm asking uh, let's try out this one but if you look at the what i have downloaded it is let me open this here the mp4 and it gives you mp4 which is fantastic now if you look at the quality of this uh there's such a scenic view over here and if you come here you know the steps you can see it's 18 out of 50 it's running on 800 gpu and it's fast by the way because we have our rates at 50 the 50 steps you can make it 25 and the quality might decrease a bit but this is what it is so let me just do that here and let's see what happens you can see it's also processing is showing here something uh, it's a bit gray area and it takes a bit of time now let's be here you can see 27 is about 50 meanwhile it's doing that i will give you this probably this notebook you can find out all my gpu utilization which is 100 percent gpu memory which is 27 percent the volumes which already have surpassed and so it's taking a lot of compute to do that now uh I'll give you this notebook. I'll give you this link description so you can also try it out yourself on a Google Colab Pro A100 or RunPod or Lambda Labs or SageMaker, wherever you want to do that. And you can see it's, it's taking 38 out of 50. Few more seconds to go and then we'll be done with that. And it also takes a bit of time to load that. Okay, it takes a bit of time to load it from there. But yeah, it's good, you know, not exactly how Sora is. And of course, those are closed source model guys. You have to pay money for those, right? And here you have uh, here you can self-host this. You control this entirely. You, know, you control it in a, your way, your uh, frameworks. But on, if you are using Sora, you are using it through is an API, and that that's what it is. OpenAI controls that. Now you can see this is done. The steps are done, and now it should load uh, in a few seconds over here. Yeah, well, this is this is cool, guys. You know the Gradio application. You probably don't, if you are not that tech savvy, for example, you are not that uh, having uh, expertise to build web applications, how you can use this kind of uh, libraries or frameworks like Gradio, Streamlit. There's a new library by Google called Mesop that they use it internally to build uh, web UI. You can also do that. Now, I'm not happy really because you know, it, even on A100, it takes a bit of time, but let's see that. It, give, it has given you that animation over here, and I think it has failed for this, uh, not as accepted, but yeah i was expecting more but if you can look at here right <laughs> uh not that impressive at least this one but the previous one was good okay and this will improve so the, the the scenes are good probably not good for humans you know human elements in a given video probably good for scenic nature and some kind of uh, animations but this is what it is guys you know i just wanted to create this video to help you understand how you can use easy animate set up it on set this up on run pod or wherever and use that to generate uh some five to six, sec 10 seconds videos. If you have any question, thoughts, feedbacks, please let me know in the comment box. You can also reach out to me through my social media channels, join AI Anytime community on Discord, WhatsApp, LinkedIn. Find those links in channel banner. Uh, please hit the like icon if you like the video and if you haven't subscribed the channel yet, please do subscribe the channel guys. That motivates me to create more such videos in the near future. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.